Hello. Hi. I can't do anything cool because I got a really nice nifty. What if I slid in on it? Hello. Hi. How do you do here? Oh my god. I swear to god. I've kicked this lamp like four times. Oh, wow, you need to stop moving my body, but I mean, the only part of my body that I can move in this position really is my feet, so I'm like, whoo, let's do some nice kicks, some backwards, like, swimming motions, 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 I don't know what I'm talking about. I really need to cut myself off from caffeine, because it really does have an effect on me. But I've heard that caffeine is all in your head, it really doesn't have an effect on you, but it's just, it's a psychological thing. So maybe, maybe if I keep drinking it and just tell myself it doesn't have an effect on me, maybe it won't. Hmm. Maybe we'll try this and I'll get back to you. But hi, hello, welcome back. Nice to have you here at this really hollering, ho 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 hollering hoot nanny we're having over here. It's great. It's a great old shindig that we have every once in a while. I'm trying to do it every two weeks at least, you know, try to be on a more consistent basis. Uh, but you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes life happens, you know? What more can I say? Hello, that's what I can say. Howdy doody. It's a day. And now we're gonna try to adjust myself. We're making a crinolin, but we're recording audio today. It's actually connected to something. See, look, it's my phone. I swear, I'm pretty sure that like at some point I'm gonna be doing some crazy dance moves and it's just gonna go whoop, down my pants. And it's gonna, that'll be a fun time trying to fish that out. Whew, ha ha, hmm. Um, probably have to take a slide of permission, but you know, it's fine, you know? For the time, oh, this cord, wait, 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 wait. Take back my statement that I was just gonna try to say. But for the time being, you can't see anything unless I turn around and then it's just like, Caitlin, what's... What are you hiding? What are you trying to smuggle? And I'll be like, no! Don't look at it! But getting to the point! Whoa! <laughs> Don't know what that was! Make it a crinolin! That... Okay, this is actually part one of two. There's gonna be two parts to this. Um, part two is kind of the actual making of the crinolin because, I mean, as you can see next to me, on beautiful Dolores over here, the love of my life. We have part of a crinolin, and well, this video actually was going to be the complete crinolin, but I ran into this little, little, little tiny snag um, of I accidentally ran out of wire and cotton tape that I was using to cover the wire um, to encase it, so we gotta order more of that. But yeah, so, did I introduce me? Well, if I didn't, hello. If you are new here, if you are new, hi. My name's Caitlin. Welcome to this holler and hoot nanny. I hope that you stay a little while. It's pretty cool here. I think it's pretty cool here. I mean, there's almost 350 of you that think it's also really cool here. Guys, that's babbling. That's so many. That that's so many. That's that's too many. That that's 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 more people than I have friends. Yes. Okay. If you're new here and you don't know much about historic costume, you're like, Caitlin, who watches a crinoline? Well, hello. I will educate you because honestly, I didn't really exactly know what a crinoline was. Like I kind of knew of it. I was like, oh, it's yeah, that like KG hoop skirt thingy. And I mean, that, that's pretty much what it is. It's a type of skirt support. Most popularized from the 1830s up until the 1860s. Maybe 1840s? No, I think it's 1830s. I think I believe it starts in 1830s. Editing Caitlin, please correct me because I could be wrong. I'm a little bit high on caffeine right now. Thank you, Editing Caitlin. I hope that you corrected me in a very polite way. You probably didn't, but that's okay. And I did say, I did say just now that I, myself, would educate you on this matter. But we are going to go back to voiceover Caitlin because I probably will get many a things wrong and I'll be editing this and be like, Caitlin, what are you talking about? You did not think that through. Did you even do your research? And the answer is as of this moment, I did some of it. 
But I am actually in the middle of reading an article on the Met. There we go, the Met. It's reading a Met article about Verlins and actually skirt supports in general because there has quite a quite a history on skirt supports and actually quite interesting because you know back in I think it was the Rococo area area era. Watch me be wrong on that. They have like the really white white wh mm, wide skirt supports where literally. It wasn't even like around, like it wasn't even like the pleasantly like roundness, like, cause you know, obviously you're gonna have a little bit of a wide like hips with like the the hoop skirts or, like crinolines, because it's like it's a giant circle around you, so it kind of goes out. You have a radius, you have a nice diameter, you know. It's like you know, you just you're walking into the ball and you're like, ooh, <gasps> fashion, yes, Versailles, amazing, and you know, you you see a woman from the side and she's just she's talking. To her male lover that's like a few feet apart because obviously they can't be that close because if they're too close oh no scandal <sighs> so you know they're talking they're just chilling they're they're having their conversation and then she's done with him so then she turns and you're like oh <gasps> the dress because what was once just so slender and sleek and just straight down turns and what do you see in front of you a toaster a toaster of a dress! That's what they remind me of. These dresses remind me of toasters, I'm not gonna lie. And I mean, once you see it, maybe you'll start thinking of toasters too. Can we just start calling them toaster dresses? I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that. But do they not kind of remind you of just toasters? But they're just so ridiculous, and I love them so much. See, okay, that's what I'm saying. We need to really, in the tw in the tw 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 2020s, oh, it's the 1920s. Do I even know what year it is? I don't know. It's been a, it's been a really long hundred years for me. According to my Twitter, I was born in 1864. Which I mean, according to my friends seems, you know, quite plausible. I just say I'm homeschooled. A lot, you know, then it, a lot more makes sense. I lost my train of thought. Where were we going with this? Oh, 2020s. We need to make Fashion so much more is extravagant again, okay? Fashion has gotten boring. You know, you want to talk about minimalist style? Minimalist style is boring. Awful, terrible, why? Clothing, no, 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 no. I want the extravagance. I want to wear a giant hoop skirt that is the diameter of six feet so I can properly social distance in public. Will I look ridiculous? Yes! But will I be happy? Of course, because I know that I am a very beautiful, pretty princess in my gown. Where's the extravagance? Where's the beauty? Where's those gorgeous silhouettes? Okay. That's another thing. That's a whole different story for another time, but like, we need to bring back, like, wearing, like, more, like, layers and clothing because, you know, to get like the beauty standards back in the day, you would pad things. It was an illusion. And now we've created this thing by society of weight loss culture and like fat phobia because it's like, oh no, you can't get these silhouettes by like padding and like by illusion anymore. No, you need to have these silhouettes by like actually like hacking away at your body to get these desired silhouettes. And it's like, no, no, no. Don't do that to your body. Your body's good. Your body looks fabulous! And so I used to- Oh, There's a bell on the ground. Cool. That's fun. I was portrayed a thought. What were we talking about? Getting back to crinolines. Crinolines, they're great. Hey, voiceover Caitlin. Yeah, you wanna- you wanna give us a little- little brief history? On uh, crinolines? Cause... I took a detour there. I really did. Ooh. Take it away! Thank you, voiceover Galen. And well, if I- oh, I don't think I mentioned it before, but I don't think I prefaced it? Prefaced it? Prefaced it? Mentioned it before. We'll just go with that one. But this is actually part of my Foundations Revealed costume that I have a little series of me working on. I do have two previous videos, you can click up there for it if you would like to see. It's very exciting stuff, I know. Oh, wow. And while designing it, I did come across the dilemma of whether or not to actually make this 
or to buy one, but I settled on making the crinoline just because I'm like, if I want it designed and like made exactly how I designed it, I might as well just make it myself. So that's what we've gone with. And you know, she's coming out pretty good so far. But now, do you know what time it is? It is montage time because this is actually the montage and sort of like beginning of what was supposed to be the video. But then I lost a bunch of my footage because my microphone decided, oh, we're not going to record any audio because, like, you, you don't really need that, do you? And that's why we have the tiny mic plugged into my phone right now, just in, just in case it decides again. Oh, ha! Audio! You don't want that, right? Yes, we don't need that. It's just, yeah, it's fine. So. Roll, roll the clip. Roll, roll the montage. So, as you can see, I did a lot of things with this crinoline that I don't, I cannot say are historically accurate. Did I set out to make this as kind of historically accurate as I could? Yes, but you know, I've come to the realization that for myself, I may not be able to make everything historically accurate, but I can make it historically adequate. So, you know, as long as it's adequately historical, I'm not mad at it, you know? I honestly just need that, like, needle pointed on a pillow. It was a bit of a weird process. I definitely ran into a few snags in the beginning that I just kind of rolled with. Um, AKA, I did not have any wire cutters that would cut through the wire, so I used bolt cutters because, you know, why not? You know, if, if you have something that works, why not use it? Is it a little bit overkill to be cutting crinoline wire that's only like 2.5 millimeters wide with bolt cutters? Probably, but that's a lot heavier than I thought that was gonna go. And, you know, running out of materials was also fun, but overall so far, I think that it's coming out quite well for my first time making an undergarment of this kind and working with crinoline. Like, I've never worked with crinoline wire before, and I was honestly putting off this project because I was really scared, along with my corset, that I still need to draft. I'm also really excited for this crinoline. It's just... It's so good. Definitely my next project needs to be a whole 1890s like ball gown. No, that's the wrong era. 1860s. <laughs> Do I know my eras or what? A full on 1860s ball gown because it's just, ah, oh, I just want to wear this all the time. Just like, can we just, you, can, you can't really appreciate, we'll just, you can sort of see, just look at that jiggle. Look at that. Look how. Oh my god, just the sway of that? Who? Ah, it's gonna be so, it's gonna be so pretty with like some swishy skirts on. I'm so excited if you can't tell. So thank you for joining me for this. And then me going on a lot of rambling little rants uh, that I don't even remember actually what I talked about now that I'm trying to think back on it. Um, I'm just, I'm a little slightly sleep deprived because I keep drinking English breakfast tea at night, which I don't recommend doing because then you don't really fall asleep until two in the morning, but my brain likes to wake up at seven. So, you know, <laughs> we live in that life on five hours of sleep, sometimes six if I'm lucky, but it's fine. So, yes, we're just, this is our pose now. So thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening to me and putting up with me. And I'm still baffled. I'm still genuinely baffled that that many people like have seen my content and think, yes, like that strangely dressing meat sack. Yes, her, her, her things. I like them. Ooh, they cool. Whoa, huh. she's entertaining and awkward. I'm gonna follow her. Like, ah, ah, ha! Baffling to me, I'm sorry, I'm still baffled. It's just, it's wild to me. Sometimes, like, 
I think I'm funny and entertaining, but I'm like, am I actually funny and entertaining to people or am I just annoying? I mean, I'm probably annoying to some people. Sometimes I just look at myself, I'm like, how do you have friends? Like, I, I edit videos of myself and I'm like, how? Thank you for everyone who's new here and are like, yes, woo! It's a hollering hoot nanny. Thank you, it's very exciting. This is very exciting for me because this is something I really enjoy and it makes me really happy that other people enjoy it and I hope that I brighten your day just a little bit. Honestly, my goal in life is to be like the next Mr. Rogers, but like if you mixed Mr. Rogers with Miss Frizzle, that's what I wanna be. You know, that's, that's my goal in life. So, I hope that I achieve that someday. So if you like to follow on my journey of, a tree, of achieving my final form of Miss Frizzle and Mr. Rogers, just climb aboard. You are great. You are amazing. I love you. And thank you for being here. I hope you have a lovely day. And I will see you next week, maybe two weeks from now. I'm not quite positive on that. But I will see you in the near future. That's all I know to be true. So, hope you guys have a lovely Sunday. Maybe it's a Monday. I don't know, whatever day it is for you. I don't know what day I'm uploading this, but whatever day it is for you, I hope it's lovely and I hope you have a good day. And you know, if you wake up and it's not a good day, here's my tip. Put on some loud music that you wanna dance to and just start dancing. Just start moving your body. Start moving around your meat bag and just dancing all around. It's a great way to start the morning. 10 out of 10 recommend, you know? It puts you, gets those serotonin levels pumping. I don't know where I'm going with things anymore. I probably should just stop. I need to go. Okay, time to shoot me away. Bye. I love you. You're great.